Isabel, in my study. Now! I understand you own a controlling interest in the Mount Royal Mine. Is that true, Isabel? Why, why, yes, George. What, what of it? I put it in my maiden name, Stanley. There's no connection to you. My God, you're unbelievable. Your partnership underwrites a company store that deals in illegal labor contracts while your husband is head of the Freedmen's Bureau. Now, what kind of ruination is that? Why, I know nothing about the management of the mine or the store, George. You'll be selling your shares to George. What? Don't be ridiculous. Nobody knows except him. I'm sure George won't do anything to... Ruin the precious Hazard family name. Shut up, Isabel. How dare you jeopardize my position. George will pay you one dollar for your 51%. Your dear brother is cheating you out of a fortune. Sign it. Stanley, please. Don't you see this is the opportunity? Sign it. Judge you, Stanley. Thank you. You idiot! Now look at what you've done! You're such a fool for your brother's good opinion! I made you! And now you're throwing it all away. God, you make me feel dirty. I have hated myself for years for listening to you, for doing what you said. You've done your best to ruin me. But no more, Isabel. Never again. I want you out of this house tonight. Oh, Stanley. Now, certainly you don't mean that. Think of all the things we've shared together. Think of all the things you'd miss. Tonight, Isabel! You take whatever you want. I never want to see your face again. <laughs> Fenway, it's much more than simply nice. But the previous owners imported the furnishings from all over the world. Uh, yes, I'm sure. However, the furnishings are not to my nor my husband's taste. Though I'm sure that the previous owners were affluent and influential people. Oh, very. Would you happen to know who their closest acquaintances were? Oh, Mrs. Fenway, the cream of Chicago society. Now, what did you tell me that your name was again? Oh, Eric. Eric, that's such a lovely name, one of my favorites. Eric, perhaps you could furnish me with a list of those names? Well, I don't know as that would be ethical. Oh, it's a pity. You see, my husband and I are poorly acquainted here in Chicago. We just love to entertain, and a list like that would greatly aid us. Why, it could benefit you as well. Me? Well, yes, of course you. After all, you'd be coming to all our soirees. And what better way to get new clientele than through social events? Mm -hmm. In such a case, I think that my husband and I might consider a uh, total purchase. Well, I think the list could be arranged. Yes, I think it could be. <laughs> You bought Isabel's shares in the mine? Oh, yes, I did. I can't believe it. So that makes us partners. There's a good future in this for everyone. If you want to work with us, we're happy to have you. With that woman? That's enough, Cooper. George, please. We were hoping, for the sake of the family, to continue this partnership. What family? If you'd rather not, I'll buy you out on the spot. All right, I'll go along with you, but don't forget, I own the land. You make one mistake, I'll throw you out. Do I make myself clear? Barry, pleasure doing business with you. Something's gone bad in him. 
It used to be just his anger toward me, but now... Feeling powerless can turn a man, I know that. Let's hope he stays sensible. Where's the place they're making the saw blade? Tackett Smithy. Would you deliver that saw blade Mrs. Maine ordered some months ago? Nobody ever come around for it with the right amount of money. Mr. Tackett, the blade was never ready. How much is it? $50. There's your 50. Minus 10% for the delay. Now, I want that saw blade delivered to Mount Royal by nightfall tonight. You understand? Good. Mrs. Maine, thanks. needs an office. If you find me a mattress, I'll bunk down here as well. You're staying? Of course. Not in your kitchen with two chairs and a raggedy pillow for a bed. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Wynum. This is me. Scott Wynum is the new mine manager. This is Mr. George Hazard. Oh. So you're the mine manager, Mr. Wynum? Yes, sir. Where are you from? Charleston, sir. But I rent a room behind Getty's Lamont store. First thing I want you to do is tear up those illegal labor contracts. How does that sit with you, Mr. Winant? You're the boss. Now tell me, what do you think a fair wage for a miner is? I think $15 a month. Well, all right then, we'll go 15. But let's make it 15 and up according to skill. Those are high wages for niggers. These are fine men, Mr. Winant. I never want to hear them called anything but men. If you have an objection to that, you can go back to Charleston. Yes, sir. I mean, no, sir. I have no objections. If they want to buy land, establish a fair price and see that they get it. And offer farm tools to them at our cost. Agreed? Agreed. All right, then. Now, let's go see your landlord, shall we? Gentlemen, which one of you is getting? <laughs> I'm George Heather. I'm running the Mont Royal Mine now. Well, yeah, Cooper Main said as much. Well, maybe he also told you no more script. But I'm here to redeem what you have if the price agreed. Well, then let me look. Oh, let me find it here. Oh, Mr. Wine, you still going to be wanting to rent that room? That is my intention. Well, no script. My profits go down, rent goes up. Ah, sorry. Then the bed linens get washed once a week. What's the total there, Gettys? Oh, yeah, well, it's, uh, it's uh, $553. If you have a pen, I have a bank draft. Gettys, may I suggest you lower your prices? If you don't, we'll be forced to offer supplies to our workers at cost. Oh, Mr. High and Mighty. This is $353. Shall we count the script together? I feel like I've been cheated. Oh, you do? Well, chalk it up to my being Mr. High and Mighty. Pardon me. Sir. 